understand you're trying to grow your business without exploiting the power of ITV1. Uh, Last year, hundreds of local businesses advertised on ITV1 to help boost sales. Look, a stamp costs about 27p. And yet the average cost to reach each potential customer in this region is less than a penny. Not woken up to the cost-effective power of ITV1, have we, madam? And welcome to ITV1, television in the heart of the Central England region, and as you've just seen, the home of some of the most successful programmes around. Carlton has owned the ITV1 franchise for the Central England region since 1994. As a sales house, Carlton sell advertising in the London, Central England, West Country, Wales and the West of England, and Scottish regions. In the next few minutes, with the help of some of the team here, we're going to show you just how powerful television advertising can be to help your business grow. What's more, you'll see how simple and affordable it can be for you to have your own television campaign. Bob. Thanks, Wesley. ITV1 Central England is the largest geographical region in the ITV1 network, with a population of over 9.5 million people. In fact, the ITV1 Central England region covers about 16% of all homes and businesses in the UK. Now, just to give you an idea about the potential value of our audience, last year, people in the region spent a staggering £8.3 billion on groceries alone. And there are more new cars purchased per person in the ITV1 Central region than in the rest of the UK. Of course, sometimes your business won't want to advertise to the entire region. Here's Murray to show you how the region breaks down. Thanks, Bob. That's right. You don't have to advertise in the entire region because the ITV1 Central England region splits into three smaller subregions. Each subregion has its own news service to provide you with the most local and up-to-date information. That's why if you live in Hereford, Gloucester or Aylesbury, you'll probably recognise Wesley. But if you're in the West Midlands, you'll be more familiar with Bob or with myself if you're based in the East. And across the whole of the region, there's one face everyone will recognise, our weather presenter, Emma Jessen. Hi Emma, I wonder if you could use your trusty weather map to show how this split can help advertisers. No problem. Hi there. As Mari said, we can see that there are three sub-regions in the ITV1 Central England region, Central West region, Central East region and Central South region. Now let's have a quick look at how these areas break down in terms of audience. Well, the Central South region, covering Hereford, Worcester, Gloucestershire, Oxfordshire and most of Buckinghamshire, serves an area of 1.5 million people. The Central East region includes Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire, Leicestershire and a sizeable chunk of Lincolnshire. This gives us a total population of nearly 2 million. And finally, our largest region, Central West, with a population of over 5.9 million, covers Warwickshire and the West Midlands. Now, depending on the size of your business, its location and budget, you can choose to advertise in one, two or all three of the ITV1 Central England regions. So, for example, if you were only to target customers in Shropshire, the West Midlands and Warwickshire, you could just advertise in the Central West subregion. Or if your company has branches across the whole of the ITV1 Central England region, you can use all three subregions, but perhaps modify your commercial so that it is more relevant to viewers in each area. Thanks, Emma. But when you're deciding how to promote your business, there's an even bigger choice of different media available to you, from local newspapers and magazines to commercial radio. So the question you're probably asking is, how does ITV1 Central England region compare with other media? Well, press and radio advertising have their benefits, but if you want your business to grow, you really can't beat television. 
Here's Bob to show you how ITV1 is still top of the league. Thanks. Well, I should start by saying that the ITV1 Central England region has always been up against some strong competition. But when it comes to getting your message across, the results show that only television has the power and reach to win time and time again. This is how the region's main contenders measure up in an average week. The magic of the silver screen is more popular than ever and is a good medium for reaching a captive audience. However, cinema advertising can only reach 4% of all the adult population. With a maximum weekly audience of around 4 million, commercial radio still has a loyal following. However, to get close to reaching all of those listeners, you'd have to buy advertising space in several stations and go through many different sales points. Collectively, independent local radio can get your message to around 29% of all adults in the central England region in a week. Next up, with a fast turnaround for booking adverts and good links with the local community, newspapers, with individual titles reaching around 24% of adults in the region. But top of the league, with over 9.5 million viewers and an incredible reach of over 90%, is ITV1, with an unbeatable combination of sound and movement television consistently pulls in the biggest crowds. One opportunity you may not have considered is program sponsorship, which offers you the chance to harness the power of ITV1, helping you to achieve maximum standout. And the great thing is that ITV1 is a winner with the whole family. From kids to grandparents, we attract more people and make a bigger impression than any other advertising medium. Oh, and uh, you'll notice that we haven't included any mention of satellite channels. Well. With the top satellite channel, Sky One, averaging only 30,000 viewers in the region, it's fair to say they're not in the same league. Impressive stuff. Perhaps not surprising, though, because we're continuing to invest in our award-winning team of programmes. In fact, ITV1 has the largest programme budget in the whole of Europe. Next year, ITV1 will spend almost a billion pounds on programmes alone. Which brings us on to the important issue of money. It's easy to prove the unrivaled power of television, but how much will it cost to advertise your business on ITV1? The answer is simple, a lot less than you'd think. The cost of a campaign depends on three things. The length of your commercial, when and how many times it's broadcast, and which of the three central England areas it's shown in. So for example, if you wanted a package of 20 30 second spots in the central west region, it would cost just £32,550. But if you wanted the airtime for a campaign of 10 10 second commercials on central east, it would cost £4,000. In short, we can create a campaign that's right for your business and your budget. Experts at Carlton will give you free help and advice to make planning and producing your commercial as simple and painless as possible. To some companies, the cost of producing a quality commercial can be prohibitive, but at Carlton we have all the experience that you need to have a great commercial without it costing you a fortune. Our team has already produced dozens of quality commercials and sponsorship credits at reasonable prices. We use the same production people and facilities as we use for our quality programmes and will work with you to make your commercial for your product. Right now we're working on our own commercial. Yes, we do our own as well. This one features some familiar faces from ITV1's long-running police drama, The Bill. We've made three commercials, each one featuring two well-known police officers questioning a business person. They point out the advantages of advertising on ITV1, particularly how cost-effective it can be. So, having a quality commercial at a reasonable price is no longer a problem. Not woken up to the cost-effective power of ITV1, have we, madam? In some cases, we'll even help you meet the cost of producing your commercial. Yes, that's right. Carlton could even provide your company with the funding for your television commercial. I'll leave you now with some examples of successful campaigns that have appeared recently. And don't forget that if you'd like to talk about your company's advertising with someone from the Carlton Sales Department, there's a number you can call at the end of this tape. On behalf of all the team here, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you on ITV1 soon. Bye for now.
don't forget that as well as representing the ITV1 Central England region, our sales team also looks after London, the West Country, Wales, the West of England and Scottish and Grampian. So for an informal chat on any of the Carlton ITV1 regions, simply call a member of the sales team at the Birmingham office on 0121 643 9898.